Watches are a luxury staple that I've been rather fond of my entire life. Not only do they symbolize power, money, and stability, but in my opinion, they also look pretty darn good. And since I'm not one for the fancy, well, shall we say ice, as the kids call it, watches are a wonderful alternative to let people know that I mean business and I have money to back it up. For some, the tick, tick, tick of their watch is the soundtrack of them making thousands of dollars every minute. For others, that tick TikTok is the soundtrack of policies being made, countries being run, and, well, tweets being sent. Today, we're going to look at the watches worn by some of the world's most recognizable and powerful world leaders. We'll see how much they cost and where exactly they've been worn. It's no secret that Donald Trump has expensive taste. I mean, he has a personal S-76 helicopter full of white leather and 24-karat gold hardware, and even his name embellished on the side that cost him a around $7 million. And if that's your transportation, chances are your accessories are worth a pretty penny as well. And boy, Trumps definitely are. When it comes to luxury watches, two brands generally come to mind as the Creme de la Creme, Rolex, and Patek Philippe. So I suppose it should come as no surprise that Trump owns watches from both brands. First, let us take a look at his Rolex watch, the Day Date watch. And if that name doesn't sound quite fancy enough for you? Well, don't worry. The Day Date has a much catchier nickname, the President's Watch. But it wasn't dubbed the President's Watch because of Trump. It's actually believed to have gotten its nickname when Lyndon B. Johnson, the 36th President of the United States, wore the watch while in office way back in 1965. However, even before that, the Rolex made a few appearances alongside other presidents. The watch was unveiled in 1956, debuting as the very first waterproof and self-winding chronometer wristwatch to have a calendar with a day display spelt out in full. The Rolex Day Date was famously given to JFK by his, well, totally platonic friend Marilyn Monroe after she infamously sang happy birthday to him in 1962. That very same watch went on auction in 2005 and sold for over $120,000. Of course, JFK would tragically be assassinated only a few few months later, and Lyndon B. Johnson would take over his role as president. After Johnson wore the day date in office, the watch received its nickname as the President's Watch, and Rolex ran with it, frequently advertising that it was the watch worn by presidents. That being said, Trump was known to sport his President's Watch long before he even took office. It's unknown what reference his watch is, but the most recent day date Rolex has prices starting at $36,000. $150. I, for one, am a huge fan of this reference of the day date. The white gold movement, the olive green dial, I mean, it's a stunning watch. And it'll only cost you $39,250. Rolex aside, Trump has been spotted wearing a Patek Philippe Golden Ellipse watch. The Golden Ellipse is one of my favorite watches, actually. It's a rather dainty watch with a 31 millimeter width and a 35.5 millimeter length case made of 18 carat yellow gold. It was first introduced in 1968, and its design is based on the golden ratio. Though the golden ratio is heavily discussed in the world of mathematics, the golden ratio is also prominent in art, film, and design, known for being aesthetically pleasing. And I must say, the golden ellipse is aesthetically pleasing, although I much prefer the newest model over the older one Trump is sporting, but it is a bit pricey. The newest reference sells for around $31,000. $980. Vladimir Putin. That's right. We're going to transition from talking about Trump to talking about Putin. Over the years, Putin has been spotted wearing many different luxury watches, totaling around $700,000. As you have probably deduced, these watches aren't from department stores. They're from some of the finest watchmakers in the game, like Patek Philippe, Alonga and Zuna, Blancpain, and IWC Schaffhausen. One of the most expensive watches in his collection is none other than a Longer and Zuna Turbograph Perpetual Bois Le Merit, a limited edition watch with only 50 pieces produced. And I must say, this watch is on the top of my list to find. I mean, just take a moment and look at it. The caliber L133.1 movement is perhaps one of the most complex movements in existence, with over 684 parts. It has not a single, not a double, but five complications, including a 
Ratraponte chronograph with split time function, a perpetual calendar, and a Fiusian chain transmission with a tourbillon. The perpetual calendar goes above and beyond by indicating the moon phase in a rather magical setting. That alone, balanced beautifully by the exposed movement, creates a watch that looks more like a work of art than anything else. The movement on the back of the watch features a wonderful array of platinum, gold, and splashes of purple and blue as well as a hand-engraved balance cock. I find it rather incredible that all those intricate features are packed into a 43mm case, although naturally, all these features do come at a cost. Reportedly, the watch cost $480,000. But if you want to talk about complications, we might as well look at another watch that Putin owns, Patek Philippe's Grand Complications, the reference 5208P. The 5208P is one of the most complex watches ever made, with elements including a minute repeater, a perpetual calendar, and a mono-pusher chronograph. The 5208P is estimated to be worth around $1 million and is only available to top clients who submit an application. Kim Jong-un You can't exactly waltz to the mall and pick up a fancy watch in North Korea, and the idea of sporting a luxury watch there may seem a bit ridiculous, but that doesn't stop Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of North Korea, has been spotted wearing quite a few fancy watches, though surprisingly, none of them are gaudy. It seems he prefers more dainty and thin watches. That includes a Movado Museum, which is actually the cheapest watch on our list, coming in at just about $1,000. That being said, 1000 bucks is a lot for an item of clothing, especially when many experts suggest that per capita income in North Korea is as low as $1,000. The Movado is a simple watch that I actually quite enjoy the look of. It has a black dial with a gold concave dot. The crystal is made of sapphire, and the case diameter is 40 millimeters, making it a relatively smaller watch. It features a stainless steel case and a mesh bracelet which are finished in yellow gold. And if Kim Jong ever goes for a nice dive into the ocean blue, the watch is resistant up to 30 meters. The other watch that Kim Jong Un has been sporting on more than one occasion is an IWC Automatic Portofino. Yet another simple, thin watch. It features a 40mm case. The case, bezel, and markers are made of 18 karat rose gold, while the dial is made of silver. The watch retails for around $11,600. However, perhaps the most interesting thing about this watch and the Movado is the fact that it is banned in North Korea. In fact, all luxury items have been banned from being imported into North Korea. I guess that makes his watches all the more rare. So, there you have it. Some of the watches worn by the world's leaders. Which one surprised you the most? And is there a watch on this list that you'd like to have? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. And if you'd like, check out my newest video on the latest Rolex watch here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and maybe turn on post notifications. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip-de-doodly-doo.